We're back with Viking basketball with head coach Tyler Geving. And the Big Sky Conference season is just about to start. The Vikings end non-conference play with a big win on Tuesday night over Cal State Fullerton. Probably the best offensive performance by your team in a month. Yeah, it was. Second half, anytime you can shoot uh, 69%, you look, like a, you look like a smart coach. So, But I think, you know, with that shooting percentage, our guys have done a good job of sharing the basketball. I think we're leading the league in, in assists and had 20 assists on whatever it was, 27 makes the other night. So our guys are doing a good job of sharing it, making the extra pass. And I, I think when you do that, that leads to easier shots or at least wide open shots. And the one thing that you've been doing in the preseason is trying to find the roles of a lot of new players. Obviously, that's kind of been hit and miss as games have gone by, but it kind of looks like things are starting to fit together. And, you know, we talked about it last night. A couple of guys who've really stepped up their game, Isaiah Pinheiro and, of course, Donovan Stewart at point guard. He really looks like maybe he's the guy for you there at point. Yeah, you know, I think that was uh, kind of the, the struggle maybe going into this year with eight new bodies and, um, you know, you're trying to find everybody's place and role. And, and then we had a couple of injuries. You know, Bryce White was out a little bit. So that I think that affected us as far as continuity goes. But, yeah, I think just putting Donovan at the point guard and letting him play those 30 minutes a night I think has definitely made a difference for us. I think it's helped Kalen off the ball. Although he didn't score it well the other night, I thought Kalen played well, five assists. But allows him to shoot a little bit more and gets him some – some easier looks, and then Isaiah has done a great job. And you know, and then when you're bringing Forte off the bench, you're bringing in a, you know, a high volume scorer. And so yeah, you're right. I think we're we're kind of at that point where we kind of know who our top seven and eight are, and um, and that's what you want to do. That's what you want to use the preseason for. So I think we kind of kind of know where we're at, and and I think that's a little bit uh, a calming feeling, I guess, as a coach heading into league play. Now you had five players in double figures in that game, and. Uh, really, you expect contributions from a lot of guys, and it is about sharing the ball on this team because a lot of guys are capable of doing things. You're seeing everybody really buy into that? Yeah, we are. I think that's something we've tried to sell early on to the guys, and um, you know, they, they've done it for whatever reason. They, they like sharing it. They like playing for each other. And I think when you have enough guys out there that can score and you don't have to depend on one or two guys every single night, then I think that's what it, that's what it does for you. You know, last night, Kalen you know, go back to him. He didn't have a great offensive performance, but Zach Gangler stepped up, Bryce White, Donovan Stewart. So we uh, just got to, you know, have those guys step up on a consistent basis. Okay, now the Vikings begin Big Sky Conference play this Saturday night against Sacramento State right here at the Stott Center. And uh, kind of a big game in a way because here's a team that Portland State actually had beaten pretty consistently over the years until last year. Sac State had a great season and uh, swept the Vikings, in fact, knocked the Vikings out of the Big Sky Tournament. Sorry for that bad memory. Yeah, did. But did. Uh, so maybe a little special incentive <laughs> for the coaching staff and the returning players? Yeah, no, they had, uh, I mean, they're good this year. I think uh, uh, what's amazing is those two guards they had last year, McKinney and Garrity were first team all league. I think everybody in, in the league and a lot of people thought they were really gonna drop off this year, but they haven't. And that's a credit to their coaching staff. and. Credit to their players, uh, you know, those guys had waited their turn a little bit for those two to leave and, uh, you know, they got different guys stepping up for them on a, on a consistent basis. So um, well coached team, uh, get after you defensively, uh, do a good job of executing their offensive stuff. So yeah, I mean, it's, uh, they got their work cut out for us. They've had our number definitely last year. Um, so hopefully we can kind of flip that, uh, flip the table a little bit. and. Uh, but it'd be nice to, you know, start off 1-0 in league play and, and especially being at home. Obviously, you got to win your home games. And because of that opening home game, Portland State has kind of a tough January schedule. Five of the next seven on the road, so that makes the game all the more important at home. Yeah, no, it does. And, and you know, it is a big stretch. I think, you know, us and Sac State as travel partners, they're in the same position as we are. So I think probably for both of us, I think we're both trying to, you know, hey, let's just – you know, stick with it through the month of January. And then obviously in February, I think we have six home games as and four on the road, but uh, you know, it is what it is. And, and uh, you just got to look at them one game at a time. League play is, it's a grind. It doesn't matter home or away. They're all going to be tough, but uh, definitely going to protect your home floor. Okay, Sacramento State with a seven and four record coming in here Saturday night, which is the best winning percentage of any uh, Big Sky school in the non-conference season. 
Let's talk a little bit about the conference outside of the Vikings because I know you've got them tabbed for first place. Who do you like in the big sky? Who's going to be the tough teams uh, to beat this year? Yeah, I think everybody. Again, I think, you know, that's the, the the beauty of our league is, you know, I think all those coaches wanted 12 teams in the in the conference tournament, and I think that'll make for a great conference tournament come March. But, you know, I think obviously Weber State was picked first by the coaches and uh, looking at what they've done in the preseason, I think they're, you know, still got that number one tag on them and have had some good wins. And, you know, Montana, even though they're five and six, uh, that, you know, I think they're another team that was, you know, picked second by the coaches. It's They're going to be right there at the end also. And, you know, Idaho State's playing well. Idaho's playing well. Eastern Washington has had some good wins. Um, so it's just been, I just think you're going to be in for another dog race come um uh, come January and February but I think come March I think that's what's going to be great about the tournament I think when we get there there's going to be 12 teams that probably all feel like they got a chance to win it. Okay there it is the Big Sky Conference always a closely matched conference among all the teams in Portland State opens Big Sky play this Saturday night 7 p.m. here at the Stott Center come here and watch the game you can get all the information at GoVikes.com.